good. <laughs> now, here's the bad news. 86 days from today. Say that with me. 86, 86 days, days from, from today. today. You know what it is? It's the start of the 2006 Global Warming Solutions Act, otherwise known as AB 32, complete with cap and free. It starts 86 days from today. And that's why I came here to sound the alarm. Does anybody know who wrote that bill? The House Majority Leader, or the Assembly Majority Leader, Fabio Nunez. He wrote it, and guess who signed it in the law? Schwarzenegger. Governor Schwarze Arnold Schwarzenhauskeeper. <laughs> there you go. Schwarzen Kennedy is Ed Colvin. Friends, this is flying under the radar. The media isn't talking about it. You're not hearing it on television. You're not seeing it in the newspaper. I'm here to tell you it's happening. It's right around the corner, and it's complete with cap and trade. Now, I thought that I knew how cap and trade worked. And then I saw a little demonstration, and I realized I didn't know what it was all about. I need two volunteers. Eric, come on up here. Real quick, real quick, and this is my wife, Tammy Sue. She's a Kentucky girl, trans, trans, uh, translated out here to California, and she's egging me on in this. She's even more of a troublemaker than I am. <laughs> I'm going to pretend that Pam is a dairy farmer, and she's got a couple of cows, and she makes money. She's a profit-making organization. Here's Eric. He's the state of California. And he's decided that her cows, because they burp and uh, <laughs> they produce methane. And methane, like they're telling us about this truck, it's a pollutant. So the state of California is going to issue her a carbon credit. Cap the amount of relations, or the amount of emissions, and trade. Well, what do you trade to get an emission from California? <laughs> you trade some money, right? And the state of California is going to ask her for $100. Give, give him a oh, Just a second. See, the state can't buy that carbon credit because that's a commodity now. Pollution is a commodity. So now we have to have commodity traders coming into California. And don't think this is a pipe dream. On 9-11, two of them opened to the People's Republic of San Francisco. One is run by Cantor Fitzgerald. They handle all of the carbon trading for the past seven years in Europe. And the other one is run by Goldman Sachs. Yep. Any questions? I'm a carbon trader. You normally sell this for $100? Oh, gosh. Well, hey, listen, ma'am. You know, the electric companies over there, they want one of these credits, too. And you know, the, the gasoline refineries, they want them, too. And gosh, you know, the winemakers, when they convert grapes into sugar, it makes a gas, and that's a pollutant, too. So the wine people, they want one. I'd normally sell this to you for $100, but since I got so many people bidding on it, it costs $500. Yeah, $500 there. $500? One, two, three, four, five, three, $500, I can hear your credit, and you can have, oh, that's all you want? Oh, too bad. <laughs> and here's your $100. <laughs> oh. Come on, Eric. Come on, be crazy. Whoa. Speculators. <laughs> Middlemen. Risk capitalists. And let me tell you, thank you very much. Do your cows can you go to take care of a cow. You do you think, did that little transaction stop pollution? No, her cows are still going to be, they're still going to be doing whatever they're doing. If you got a polluter, you just have to buy these carbon credits. And as long as you pay me, the middleman, I'll get you some carbon credits from the state. That's but I'm going to make my cow. Follow the money. Well, I've got this extra hundred bucks right now, and this program clearly benefits me. Do you think it'd be smart for me to maybe, I don't know, take like 20 bucks of this and give it to whatever politician supports this policy? Or maybe even a politician that wants to do more of it because I like this. 
Eric, you just finished my speech. <laughs> He's got it. That's how it works. Thank you, Blue. Thank you very much.